we want to find a standard equation of a plane through the point three comma negative six comma negative seven and orthogonal or perpendicular to the line given by the parametric equations. Well, we know a line that's parallel to vector v with components a, b, and c passing through the point x sub one, y sub one, comma z sub one is given by these parametric equations. So notice how the coefficients of t give us a vector the line is parallel to. So notice how the given line is parallel to vector v, which would have an x component of three, a y component of four, and a z component of negative eight. But because this line is orthogonal or perpendicular to the plane we're trying to find the equation of, this direction vector, or the vector the line is parallel to, would be orthogonal or perpendicular to the plane, and therefore we could also use this as a normal vector to the plane. And since we have a normal vector to the plane and a point on the plane, we can find the equation of the plane in point normal form and then find the equation in standard form. Before we do this though, let's take a look at what's happening graphically. We're trying to find the equation of this yellow plane that contains this blue point and is orthogonal to this red line. And because the plane is orthogonal to this line, the direction vector or any vector this line is parallel to would give us a normal vector to the plane, which we can then use to find the equation of this plane. So let's go ahead and change vector v to vector n to represent a normal vector to the plane. So this tells us for the point normal form, a equals three, b equals four, and c equals negative eight. And then because the plane contains the point, three comma negative six comma negative seven, we know x sub one equals three, y sub one equals negative six, and z sub one equals negative seven. So now we'll find the point normal equation of the plane. So we'd have a, which is three, times the quantity x minus x sub one, which would be x minus three, plus b, which is four, times the quantity y minus y sub one, that would be y minus negative six or y plus six, plus c, which is negative eight, so we have minus eight, times the quantity z minus negative seven, which would be z plus seven, equals zero. And now we'll distribute and write this equation in standard form. So we have three x minus nine plus four y plus twenty-four minus eight z minus fifty-six equals zero. So let's write this as three x plus four y minus eight z, and then negative nine plus twenty-four minus fifty-six is equal to negative forty-one, so we have minus forty-one equals zero. Adding forty-one to both sides gives us the equation three x plus four y minus eight z equals forty-one. This would be the equation of the plane that passes through the given point and is orthogonal or perpendicular to the given line, which would be the yellow plane we see pictured here. I hope you found this helpful.